the only reason that we're staying is because of how how we affect people. Magasila, Aldab Nation, everyone around the world is what keeps us going. namin alam ni Aden kung deserve ba namin yung love na binibigay and support na binibigay nila sa amin. We're doing this for the people that matters to us, our supporters. And kumbaga hindi namin magagawa to if not for them. the phenomenon is precisely that. It was serendipitous that he was there, that she was there, that she looked at him that way. I've never seen anything quite like it. And I really have to hand it to Jenny Ferre, who is the head of creatives of Eat Bulaga. To be able to catch that, you know, hindi sila nag-uusap pero nakikita sila sa monitor. Nagkakawayan ng sila, pero may kilig pa rin. It's genius! Millions of people were glued in into Noontime TV. Nobody expected them to be that big in a matter of a short period of time. This is a love theme that was born in the streets and people kind of became one and watched it at the same time, tweeted about it at the same time. They were able to fill every arena or every, every place that they went to, everybody followed. And I think that's one of the biggest effects of that love theme. already for Mega Magazine and for Making Mega. It's almost like we kind of just looked at the map and put a finger anywhere. And like it landed on Morocco. Morocco 
is not a destination that everyone gets to go to, you know. Morocco is known for its early Islamic architecture. It's known for its spices, you know, the argan oil or the Morocco oil. It's known for its soups. It's a mix of the old and the new. Tradition is very important in this place. They hold on to their tradition. And I think Aldab was that perfect combination with tradition and Morocco. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. Next location na kami sa Marrakech. Morning. Morning, everybody. It's a very refreshing experience to be paired with Maine. Just this ordinary girl who happened to be given a chance to be part of Eat Pulaga. When I entered Ipulaga, everything happened. The thing about Alda, the thing about Maine and I is we just don't let anyone pressure us to be something that we're not comfortable with. What they see uh, sa amin dalawa is genuine, there's no pretensions, there's, we're not faking anything. So it's a what you see, what you get kind of relationship. Pag nakita mo talaga siya, parang when you see Main Mendoza, you will not really have a hard time figuring her out. Kasi she's really open. <laughs> Hindi siya mahirap pakisamahan. And kumbaga, since we're a year, a year and two months already, meron na kaming certain way of communicating. We're here in Marrakesh and it's super hot in here. I don't know if it's the weather or it's out there. It could be both. Tinginan pa lang. This gesture, I know that it's off to her. This gesture, gusto niyang gawin. This gesture, ganyan, etc. Really, Maine is someone who really, you know, parang, who you can trust. This is my bad camel. What's your name? Nakakatakot! You know, we've been through a lot together as a love team, as a pair, as, and as friends. So, what we really have in this battle is only us, the both of us. 
what do I like most about my life now is making people happy. Pwede ang kamanta ng camel song. Kasi yun yung purpose ko kung bakit ako nandito. May tatlong camel kaming nakita. Mataba, mapayat mga camel. Siguro sobrang blessed ko na rin na yung pagiging totoo ko sa sarili ko, napapasaya ko na yung mga iba. Tara na, ang init. <laughs> Ang kulit eh. Apakan mo siya. Ay, horses. Ay, kaso. Uh, one, two, three! Uy! <laughs> Sa akin, no. Gat. Oh! Welcome to Marrakesh! <laughs> I feel blessed more than lucky. Because, mm -hmm. kasi I never prayed for it. Honestly, before, sobrang dream ko maging artista. Hindi ko lako pinag sa sabihan kasi nga parang tingin ng iba funny siya. Kapag sinabi ko kung uy gusto ko maging artista pag tanda ko parang feeling ko pagkatawan lang nila ako. Pero ayun, hindi ko sa pinagdasal talaga kasi tingin ko parang impossible mong yari sa akin. Truth be told, hindi naman ako artistahin. Itsura ko, hindi ako kagandahan. Normal lang. Uh, hindi siya bagay sa mundong to. Uy, ang saya. So parang never siya pumasok sa isip ko na makakarating ako where I am right now. Yung iba naghira, parang si Alden, um, it took him five years. Parang ako, pumasok lang ako, tapos... Aldob happened one month lang. Iniisip ko, hindi ko deserve. <laughs> okay. The reason why I'm here now, it's because it's fate. And it's really my destiny to be part of show business, even though I really didn't want it at first. I don't know where we are, but maraming camel. I never really wanted to be part of this world in this industry because it's really not me. I don't have confidence. I have low self-esteem. I really didn't believe much on myself. Camel. <laughs> Camel. But it's true na talagang you really learn to love things if you want to learn to love it. Kaya nilang magstay ng ganyan katagal sa arawan. Oh? Well, they're made for that, I guess. I've been in the industry for uh, five years, to be exact. And parang when this came in, it happened so fast that medyo nagulat ako and I, I, I somehow lost track of everything. And then I realized ko, uy, we're already here. The main concept of Maine's shoot was really about color and embellishments. Okay, I love you too. Dito na Mark. I'm okay. We'll, we'll do it there. Celeste Vieira, it's her first time to actually join us. And we're very excited to work with her because we've worked with her in the magazine a couple of times. Celeste Vieira is, I would say, one of the artists that created the turning point in Philippine fashion. That's the one. That's the one. Do you like that? I love it. <laughs> Maine is highly professional. She's very focused. She always finds a way to make things very, very light and, and enjoyable and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> King that ano? Yaya Dub style. Paano? Hahaha! <laughs>
Juan Sarta is one of the most respected makeup artists in the industry today. He, to me, is probably the greatest makeup artist in his generation. And I'm glad he's here with us. What's beautiful about her is she's not aware na maganda siya. That's why when she's on camera, she can do anything. Hindi siya yung pala, parang ingat na ingat lagi na kailangan maganda siya. So that's what makes her different from other stars. I know. <laughs> Epitome of beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Nickdow has this talent for making people feel really comfortable. Mark Nickdow, in one word, is amazing. Yun lang masasabi ko. Noon pa lang, I've been looking forward to it. And sobrang, it's an honor. He has natural rapport and dynamics with the cover stars. Ito na yun. I'm uh, so much in high spirits that um, we're able to shoot, I think, the cover for Maine. Nandito nang palinsin. Maine Mendoza is a natural star. If you look at her Dub Smash videos, you knew that she's completely aware of camera angles. say about Maine is that she really transforms when she goes into makeup and hair wears the clothes already she gets into this character she knows where to angle her face her body it was a different Maine that you're seeing sarili ko sa cover, lalo na kapag nagagandahan din ako, naisip ko na parang, ako ba ito? Yes. Guys, don't... ibang covers na nakikita ko yung sarili ko kasi yung iba as Divina, yung role ko sa Kalyser and meron naman as Maine. Pero merong iba na as, as in super fierce na parang hindi ko yung na-expect before na kaya ko palang gumano. Naihiya ako actually mag-pose-pose kasi yung nanay ko nanonood ko. First time ito. So, first time. So, naihiya ako. Na-upward ako. Maine Mendoza is still a normal teenage girl. Parang, I look in the mirror and still see the same person 13 months ago. Hindi ako sa nanay ko talaga. Nanay ko talaga kahit sino kong punta. Hindi nga talaga ako sa nanay ko. Ayun siya, oh. Nasaan ba? Wala ka lang yung ginagawa ko. Nakakahiya. Actually, ang misconception ng mga tao, every time na makikita nila ako, nagugulat sila kasi tahimik lang ako. Kasi iniisip nila na, Para ako si Aya Dab na very outgoing, very loud. Galing. Alam mo, iba talaga pag mga Michael. Pero hindi ka kasali doon kasi... Ano yun ang ako? Hindi mo yung Michael doon. Michael Caranda. Michael. When it comes to being adored by people, Siyempre, masaya sa feeling. Kasi parang, before, parang, nag, 
naghahanap ako ng attention and love from people. So, parang ngayon na natatamas ko na siya. Iba yung feeling sa akin. Na parang, oh, marami palang tao nagmamahal sa akin. Parang noon feeling ko lagi ako mag-isa. Tapos ngayon, andyan na sila. This is Michael Uykoko, my handler from Triple A. Ayan, he's one of the nicest people I know. Oh, hindi inaalagaan. Inaalagaan mo kasi ako. And lagi niya ako sinasamahan kahit hindi na part ng work. Basta kapag, alam mo yun, kapag i-invite ko siya. So, it means so much to me. Kaya, thank you. Oh, first time to. First time. <laughs> Kapag naman sa pambabash ng mga tao, ano kasi, parang laging tinitira sa akin ng mga tao is yung physical look. And I think that is the lamest thing they keep on doing. Kasi sabi nga nila, once you've accepted your flaws, nobody can use them against you. Every time we go on these trips, we always have a partner. And this time around, we, we partnered with BYS. We always try to appropriate the look for the country that we're in. For this beauty editorial, we wanted to showcase another side of BYS, that it can be dark, it can be smoldering. It was more of like a play on call and eyeliners matched with high contrast eyeshadows. And our model was just so beautiful. So it's the 11th hour and um, we are traveling 30 minutes outside of the city of Marrakesh to, to find that private farm with camels where we will finish our cover today. Are we there yet? No, not yet. We went up to a more rural side of Marrakesh. It's, called, it's very famous. It's called Urika Valley. Urika, Urika, Urika Valley. Valley. Very famous in the Marrakesh. I So Mark went down first and kind of scoped the area where we could shoot Alden Solo while taking into consideration the setting sun. When Mark works, he really likes to integrate himself with the environment or the whole mood. Out of nowhere, he was already changing into the traditional Moroccan robes and even adding a headpiece. Maybe like the fates were like in our favor. We found this blue car, which was like a pop-up store. You don't get that anywhere. You would have to fabricate a set or hire a production designer to create that old vintage with real, you know, Moroccan art. Blue looks good on a lot, and it looked especially well on Alden.
One of the bigger trends this year is athleisure. The trend now in fashion is that you also mix uh, a lot of elements. So for his Mega Man cover, we paired it with sneakers. We picked out local canvas sneakers in, in shades of blue. The sneakers of Converse was the exclamation point that we needed for the cover shoot of Alvin. Sino ang lima, Miss Mike? Huh? Sino ang lima? Binigay niya? Bigay lang? The reason why I'm doing this is because of the effect that the things that I do on people. Yes! You give people happiness. You make them feel their lives are getting better every day as they watch you. I learned something na parang as long as you have a good heart, people will see that. And that's what will make them latch their attention to you. A good example was my experience. I ventured into a, a business where, where I have no idea on what will happen to me. Being grateful, being contented with what you have, I mean, you will be blessed more and you have to really push yourself to achieve your dreams. That's what happened to me. I never gave up. Okay, next outfit. Let's go. When Alden walks into a room, he seems to catch the attention of everyone present. All the people are always normally enamored by him. He's smiling like the Thank you. I think it's more than being blemish-free. There's innate beauty coming from within. You can tell that his skin is really healthy. These are the shoots that fun to do. His big secret is actually a supplement called Snow Caps. Yun yung magaganda yung, yung outcome. So we'll see if that's true. His natural charm combined with the glow that Snow Caps gives him is most probably the reason why he's known as the Pambansang Bay. So once we wrap that up, we had to proceed right on straight to the shoot of them together. This was what the fans are craving for. Alden and Maine together in Morocco. Uh, closer to each other. Ah, uh, more fun. Unfortunately, at that point, Maine was feeling a little unwell. She had some stomach pains, and apparently this time was really, really bad. Alden was kind of pressing his fingers on Maine's abdomen just to make things a little bit easier. Nice. Eyes here, guys. Chin up. There. Relax the face. The baby camel, can we put it on this side? Animals always kind of give a different texture to an image. There. And ready. Go. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Just don't mind the animals. There. 
Yes, relax the forehead. There, that's fine. Camels actually were very playful. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, then. There. Okay. Ready. Kita kana James. Hi, sir. Relax the faces. Closer, all good. But chest now. Close your eyes, relax the face. Breathe. There. And go. Let's go. After one layout, she says, No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to continue. Kinaya mo. Kinaya. You know, she felt better. I'm so happy she fought through that. Can we do it? Can we do it? 10 minutes. Wait, hold on. Are they dressed up for the next week? We can change. But just you, just you? I don't know, never mind. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a good spot here. Yeah, sure. When you go to a location shoot, especially outside of the country, there are many aspects that you have to face. Transfer and this. You don't have sleep. The travel time is is long. But I'm not so sold with the background. You have only limited time to shoot at this location. Mean? Okay. Once you adapt to the country that you're in, you you bring the spirit of that country or that city to the output that you do. Nice, nice, nice. All in. It's good. Chill up a bit. Good. Nice. I'm very happy with the shoot in Morocco. What I feel after shoots is that I get a feeling of contentment. How was it? So, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Is it stone? Wow. Oh, it's a stone. How much is this one? 20 euro. 20? 20 euro. Euro. And for us to be able to even get there and shoot. How much? I have mine. <laughs> this is for only 20 euros. And to just be able to experience another culture is such a blessing. For 200 euros. I think with this issue for October, with us putting Alda on the cover, we wanted to send the message to the fans that even if sometimes you meet hurdles, it always pans out for you. Yeah. So Grande! Stills. I've been in this industry for 13 years and I would think that I've seen it all and I know it all. That's not true. It's a constant learning process. Grab it. Wow. Grabe, ha ha. Ang iyak sila. Ang iyak sila. The biggest thing that this trip has taught me was to do away with expectations. So we're here now at Marrakesh, Morocco. So as you can see, there are lots of camels and trees and pretty much nothing. We're like in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of, it's kind of a pretty place to shoot. Expectations are good. It's good to come in knowing what you want out of something. But it's also important to keep an open mind, especially when things don't go the way you intended them to. 
I think one becomes a phenomenon when they are true to who they are and they live by their own set of rules. We found a perfect one. Alda taught me that it's okay to be fun. It's okay to be silly. May tatlong camel kaming nakita. Mataba, mapayat mga camel. Camel. <laughs> it's okay to let go sometimes. I think with Al Dub, they also realized the fact that they wouldn't have reached this far for not their fans. Good morning. 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 If you dissect what makes a phenomenon, I think that this shoot in Morocco also is a phenomenon. The fact that we had such an excellent team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, let's go. And an excellent cover subjects. Like, for example, Alden came, you know, a little later and he was tired, but he didn't show it. So, since Ming came in first, we'll say hi. Main was in pain. Both were real troopers, and so I think that if you see the pictures, they're beautiful. It's not because everything conspired to make it beautiful. I think it's people conspired to make it beautiful. The ability to be able to see something that others don't see and then take the opportunity and make the most of it. That is what makes things phenomenal.